and welcome to Riverbend Springs. We are into September, this is our second month, and we made, ooh, where we now? We made just under 20 grand in the last month. Not bad for our first month. Well, let's get started. So we're gonna do a couple of contracts to get going, get some more money in, and then we will, um, what will we do next? We will start on our constructibles. That's what we'll do. We've got to start thinking about getting some equipment to do some wood transport. I think some dead wood we will start doing most probably in the next episode. We'll just find something that we can carry it with and that'll help us out. Because I think we can sell the trees on that. But in the meantime, let's get going with a cultivation contract. Bring in about eight grand-ish off little bit less than that after we've uh, leased the equipment. I think that's looking good. Field 85, it's a fairly big field. But I want to um, start testing a couple of the workers. We'll put a work on that field eventually. Set, set it a nice little task. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it reasonably difficult <laughs> for the for the worker and just see how they do it and then we will have a look and see about doing a second contract at the same time that'll look good just having a quick look at the land deformation there after the rains of last month it's still the yard is still a bit soft not a major problem Luckily, as I've said in the last episode, we don't have far to go to <laughs> go pick up the equipment. The interesting thing is later on the, in the episode when um, we start on the constructibles to see whether the International can handle transporting the product over. But that's for a bit later. Right, where are we? Where is field 85? What's field 85, wasn't it? 65. Field 65. I think I said 85 earlier on, didn't I? It's not too far to get out, so kind of out the store and then just left and straight along the drag until you find the field. Just have to put a front weight on, pulling the heavy weight. We've got the nice little McCormack nice compact looking ca uh, tractor tractor <laughs> fantastic let's go put the weight on first there's a train going in the background we'll have to have a look at the train somewhere along the line but for now we'll just keep trying to dodge it as we are travelling back and forth between Oh, our yard and the farm and the warehouse. I think I did mention in the first episode that we'll be buying in a lot of our product for the constructibles. We can buy it at a reasonable price from the from the warehouse so we can just keep it going, get it going. So I reckon if we turn left here and just head on straight down the road, we will get to the field. And we'll almost probably see you once we get there. Well, we will see you once we get there. We've just got there. Let's have a look through the entrance. It looks a bit tight going in here. I think we're okay for this because we're going to be cultivating, so but I wouldn't want to bring my harvester in here if we have to ever have to do a harvesting contract on here. There must be an entrance further up that yeah, it looks like there's you know, there's a farmyard up top there, so there must be a, a bigger entrance into that somewhere along the line. Right, we'll do a couple of headlands and then uh, so what I'm going to do 
with the AI work here is I'm going to do I'm going to start the the contract and then I'm going to set the AI and just see how it, how it handles the situation let's get going I was kind of expecting this cultivator to be a little bit wider I don't know why I think it was I was just so surprised about how wide the um, weeder was yesterday still haven't really looked into those missing tines the missing sections on that um, that weeder um, I mean I thought a bit about it and I, the only thing that I can think of is that it, it just hasn't been put on in terms of, of the of the mod there's just no ways that I can think of in real life that you would have that gap and it's still weeding it should there should either be something there or there should be weeds maybe it was to reduce um, to reduce the size of the file of the maybe for console or something like that I don't know be interesting to see if it gets corrected or not. And McCormack seems to be handling this piece of equipment fairly easy, though it is reasonably flat. Nice looking farmyard this actually. If we just jump cut it a little bit ahead, we've uh, this is basically coming towards the end of a second headland I think when we get down to the bottom of here which will probably be one and a half headlands or one one and three well three quarters a little bit more than three quarters but and we'll set off the worker and see what they do This is going to be interesting. That all looks right. So it has worked out with doing the headlands. So I think the AI workers start in the middle. So I think that it is okay to actually do some of the headlands and that's what we really going to check up at the end of the day is whether whether it'll just basically go and redo the headlands or if it will um, realize that some of it's been done and maybe just fill, fill in the gaps so to speak so interesting way for them to start Good looking little section going there. Don't know what I was doing, fiddling with the maps there. Now this is the first little interesting thing that I noticed is that it doesn't just work in straight lines. So it's actually done a bit of a kink. And that's pretty good. If you go back on the map, I didn't want to mention it at the time because I wanted you to see this. You could actually see that the when the map preview came up that it showed a bit of a kink at the end and it was very interesting to see whether it would actually do it and how effectively it would do it so i think we will almost probably just leave it here and we'll go and work on another contract but it's going to be interesting to see how it handles so basically it's split the field into two now um, it's obviously going to do the one side and then it's going to have to go back and do the other side well I don't know how, how it'll do it I'm not going to sit and watch it all the time um, because the idea of doing 
I work on one of the fields is to be able to do two contracts at once. I suppose we could do more, but let's try and be a, be, be realistic in terms of the money that we have. We don't know how much it's going to cost us. Yeah, so you see, there's probably that's where the second. I didn't look to see how many headlines it was going to do, but still, we'll get back to that a bit later, and we'll come and check out what it's going to do. Or oh, how it's doing, let's put it this way. So I think we're going to do a hoeing contract. That's something that we haven't done before. And up on field... Field 37, is it? Yeah. It's not a big field. It's a nice, easy, easy shape field to work on. We'll work this one ourselves just because it's a hoeing contract. We haven't done that before. Just a quick nip back to go and see how the... See if the... Um, the work was still working and it is so that's good and we've got a six hour John Deere for this little contract that's the nice thing about being a contract and hiring equipment is we get to see a lot of different equipment now I don't recall seeing this hoe in well I didn't do a lot of hoeing to be honest in FS22 so I don't know if this is an absolute new piece of equipment I have had a look to see if you can use weeders on hoeing equipment and you can't although the hoe and this is the only piece of hoeing equipment that I could find currently in the in the store is um, to be found in the weeding section so and it's the only one there the wording is pretty much exactly the same between the weeders and the and the hoe except for this is a hoe and the other says a weeder or the other I think there's four or five of them said a weeder I did try it with admittedly the cheapest weeder that was there but I did test it on a field and uh, it doesn't it doesn't um, regard it as hoeing which is what would one what one would expect because it's actually weeding so, so we limited on hoeing equipment and if we're going to have hoeing contracts I would uh, I would hope um, and I'm sure that some of our fantastic models will be making up some more hoeing equipment give us a little bit of choice at the moment Pottinger as the monopoly it's a one vehicle it's a, it's a one implement monopoly but it's a monopoly <laughs> in case let's get up to what is it field 37 I think it was and for the first time we're going to use the ferry so that's pretty nice haven't used the ferry well going into episode 2 but we haven't used the ferry before and then we've got to find the field once we get to the top because I think it's pretty much straight up there but there's two roads that you can take once you get across the ferry I think we'll go up the left one and we'll just see where we end up right let's summon the ferry so it looks to me like the ferry is always going to be on the other side of the river when you pitch up that's not too much of a problem look at that temperature inver inversion on the on the river a little bit of mist on the river yeah we are still fairly early in the morning it's not, not quite 10 o'clock yet so pretty right as it should be there get in the vehicle and we wait for the boom to lift and we'll drive on to the very pretty easy to operate just summons it pretty much like a train and then it'll only let you drive on once it's properly docked so the safety procedures are in place drive on and you can park where you want to at the moment because we're the only person on the ferry we'll park in the middle and to get the ferry going you just need to jump out of the vehicle 
it looks like our contract is still working I haven't seen any notifications to say that it's stuck or anything like that so that's good right and we just start the ferry on the consoles it's a well, on the console controller just the left the left button and away we go nice little sedate trip across the river very calm this morning weather looks set fair for the whole day for the whole month should I say so we should be able to get all our contracts done and we should be able to start building hopefully we've got enough money to get at least two of them started so like the roller coaster from um, oh, I've forgotten what the name of the map was the Silver Run Forest yeah, I think it was Silver Run Forest in twin. I think that was the name of the map in the, in the FS22 <laughs> uh, where we built the roller coaster you've got to deliver stages you've got to deliver basically raw materials to build stages so we'll try I think we just head straight up yeah it's a little bit I think yeah I think if we take the straight road we should we should get up there I think if we if we go right there we will actually be heading up to the main road nice little bee farm just going past on the right hand side here we have to come and have a look at that at some stage there we go we've still got to find I haven't found the um, the carriage building area at this point in time we will get there somewhere along I don't know whether we'll build a carriage in this uh, in this series if this time if we're doing well enough with our contracts or if we've started our own farm we might uh, we might look at it but I'm not going to look at it at this it's not on the immediate agenda let's put it that way but I do hope to find it in our travels around the map in the next couple of episodes right so it's a little bit difficult I can't quite work out oh little fender bender with a school bus well, that's not good luckily there's no kids in there must have been get, must be on its way to go and pick it up it's got such a big bumper on it I think we've taken more damage than it has right so we've got to find I think there's a road that double doubles back somewhere around about here uh, it's not that way we, we want to go right so I think it's down on this bend that's not the one that I was looking for. Is this it? Might be. Where are we looking? Yeah, it should be. Can we get up one of those other roads a little bit further along? Oh, I'm not sure. Not sure. I think I'm going to turn around and go up this other road. This is the joys of these new maps got to find your way around sometimes you have to do a little bit of scrambling this is just a fact of life if you've got a tractor you can scramble you can go cross cross country don't be shy <laughs> as long as you're not trampling on somebody's field oh that school school bus driver must hate me I'm sitting on the wrong side of the road this is a problem when you come from a drive on the left hand side country go to a drive on the right hand side country and you end up on the wrong side of the road every now and again don't you <laughs> another fact of life <laughs> uh, yeah fantastic I think if we just go up this little road now we should should come to where we want to be <laughs> uh, what do they say many ways to skin a cat 
into the field here, I think. Ah, I do like the fact that the weeds are a little bit higher. So I don't think we're going to have too many problems seeing where they are. Oh, that's nice. I'd, see, now I didn't quite expect that to open wide. I, I could have looked to see what the width was, but I didn't. So yeah, pretty decent working width. So I'm not going to use the GPS, which I should have used on the on the contract that I did yesterday, because uh, I think we should be able to uh, see quite clearly where we have been. If I'm mistaken, we will we will go through the GPS. And I will I will look at the GPS system on one of our contracts pretty soon. It's probably in the next episode. Um, so we've looked at the AI workers, so we'll look at the GPS on, the, on one of the contracts in the next episode. I think you can see that it's fairly clear behind the the hoe that the weeds are gone after it's been over it. So I think when we turn around it should be pretty clear where we've been. As I said, if it's not, then we will put the GPS on so that we don't have the debacle that we had yesterday. So a contract 65 yeah it's still it's still working so the uh we're up to 70% on that on that field so I'm going to say that it's probably crossed over to the other side. So it's probably is going to be just it might it might even complete the field we'll see we'll get back there before uh, before it completes I'm sure yeah so as a, as I was saying when we turned around there I can see it's pretty clear so we don't need GPS on this we can do it the way nature intended us to farm by eye <laughs> right so just done a bit of a jump cut to the end we're going to be using uh, on the contracts quite a bit of jump cutting um, just because they do take a bit of time and, and the episodes will become a little bit too long but I will get back to you if if there's something interesting or I've created a situation where something becomes interesting like I did yesterday and we'll show you that as well so we won't we won't try, try and jump cut, cut over any mistakes we will try and show the mistakes or, and the good stuff But if it's just normal run-of-the-mill stuff like this contract has been actually it's been very simple very straightforward been very easy to do money for jam as they say nice and easy this one and it's actually worked out quite well because this is definitely going to finish before the one thing that I have found is because it takes a little bit of working out I think that the AI or the farm workers whatever you want to call them I don't, I'm, I don't want to call them AI workers that they are just workers so there contract is finished and as I mentioned in the last one I'm always a bit, I'm a little bit disappointed that we couldn't just uh, finish the um, we weren't still able to finish the contract it just finishes but in any case so we have completed that's good get uh, 3200 after we've paid for the leasing of the equipment quite happy with that right so a couple of things it looks like it's done most of the field so it's definitely worked on both sides of the median that it started on Quite happy with that. Still doing the little kink, which is pretty good. But I can see that there is a a slither on the left-hand side and the bottom, and that would be where we didn't complete the second headland. 
so it will be interesting I've just uh, sped this up just to just to save a bit of time and it'll be quite interesting to see I do want to see if it is going to go back and and fix that up and if it does then we've set this a pretty sturdy task it has completed it well it would have completed it if it does go over there so it's definitely fixing that up is it going to lower here it should if it's done the bottom part there so i think that this is it may still have some kinks in i know i've i've read and seen some people saying it's not working properly but this i feel was a fairly stern test and provided it goes up the it's got that little bit there will it will it pick that little bit up on the left hand side before it goes looks like it certainly looks like it oh no it's not it's just getting ready to go up this uh, well i don't mind i don't mind it missing a little bit like that you know that was I mean the test was as I, as I as I said was pretty stern so if it can handle this I think anything that it's struggling with is probably a minor fix and can be I would say put down to teething problems rather than failures of the system. I'm pretty impressed that it's been able to handle this. Pretty impressed it's been able to handle this. I'm sure that we'll continue to do to set to do to use workers in different ways. We'll the, the next time oh there we go, we finished so I'm going to presume it would have finished that that contract had we been doing it for ourselves because it did seem to have no problem with that and that would have been the first headland that it would have been going on unfortunately we didn't get to see whether it would carry on and just go but it was lifting well what I'm trying to say is to see whether it would have just done all the headlands um, regardless of whether we had done them or not but I don't think so because it did, did lift after we had where we had already done the headland but there was still some place to plow if you get what i mean right so let's have a look and see so that cost us just under 700 the two contracts brought in 10,000. so yeah i think it's reasonable to have at least one set of other workers going then as we get more money we can most probably have some other workers going the workers cost is fairly expensive but we have been able to do in the morning half of the well, by yeah just before 12 o'clock half of what um, we did in the whole day in the first episode so pretty happy with that right so now we've got uh, 38,000 in the bank let's go and buy some I think we'll definitely be able to get one first phase done on, on one of the sheds and we may well be able to get two done don't think we'll get three done we'll have a look and see let's just see how it goes the next dilemma is how are we going to get this back to the farmyard so we've got wood beams long planks and planks planks i've got no problem with we'll be able to load that easily the long planks and the wood beams if i remember correctly are quite long pallets so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put them onto the back of the little international uh, truck or as we'd call it in the UK van and in South Africa we would call it a bucky yeah so by long planks we buy planks and we will buy wood beams as well 
Yep, 5,000 for those. Let's see, if we don't need prefabs, all we need wood beams as well. So I think that's all three bought now, isn't it? Let's go and have a look and see where they are delivered. I'm going to presume it's in one of these three spots here. Yeah, there they are there. So we've got the wood beams that we need to deal with first. At least it's the most difficult. That's going to be the heaviest and but it's going to be just as awkward to load the long planks. So I think we'll just we'll try and put it over there and just see if we can tip it off and hopefully it'll fall right. I'm not sure if it will, but we'll work it out. We will work it out. My feeling is this is not going to work. <laughs> oh dear. I suppose we could just drive over with the with the product on the forklift, but that's not the idea. This is the oh there. See, that's what I was afraid of, because I don't think that will offload. In that, we've got to try and get it at least partially upright. Let's see if we can bump it up. Try a couple of little different. It's slightly better. It's got to be a better way of doing this. I think that'll work. Let's just see if we can nudge it in. Nah. Let's pull it back. Wondering if I shouldn't just leave it as it is. Let's just give it one more try, but I don't think it's gonna. No, let's just leave it as it is and strap it up and go and see if it will deliver. If it delivers, then we are okay. Luckily, we don't have far to go again. So we're not. Well, why are you going this way? Oh, we can get there this way. We just go to the bottom here. And go past the motor X. Um, we could have just gone straight down the road there. Just all these turn-offs are, are so close together so I've I found that sometimes I get a little bit uh, I tend to turn down the wrong road. I suppose that uh, it does happen in sort of built-up areas sometimes particularly if you don't know where you're going <laughs> or st still finding yourself you're still finding your feet in a new place. So now the crucial part is will it deliver? So it's not automatically with the straps on. So as soon as we take the straps off, well, it's not how you take the straps off. Well, we get out to take the straps off, I suppose. This is, the, there we go. Yeah, nice, luckily. So we know we can get it in that way, but I think, I think I've got an idea. Don't know whether it'll work. But we'll see. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, so it's already starting to use some of the wood beams. Can't see any development taking place in the yard or in the construction site. Let's get back to the shop and go and pick up the uh, the long planks. Uh, I've got a I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I'll show you. You'll see now. When we get there, I think this will be much make will make for a much easier load. And what it will do is it will be it will give us a um, really good if it does work. It will give us a good base for the rest of well loading the rest of the raw materials that we require. So if we put this down and we narrow the tines and pick it up, uh, 
I don't know whether it's going to work because we're going to have to try and edge it up to get underneath the cross, the cross beam or the cross, yeah, the cross beams. Of the, yeah, it goes on, and it lifts it doesn't unbalance too well. So we can sh we should both just load this from the back now. We might not be able to get it all the way in. We might have to nudge it in with the tines, but that's not a problem. There we go, fantastic. Now. Let's see if we can, if it can manage to do both of these at once. So, because we should be able to get this on the top. But will the van be able to take the weight? Uh, yeah, it's looking okay. It's, it's not looking under any more stress than it was with the wood beams, so that's good. Yeah, the, we wouldn't be able to get the wood beams on there as well. Um, I think it be just a bit too much for the for the van for the truck well we could could actually close up the tailgate fantastic that's looking good we're going to deliver this to the and we, how much money have we got 22 we'll definitely be able to get another so we had 38 so it cost about 16 16 or 17,000 for the first because we would have delivered the first stage I think we'll be I think we've got everything delivered for the first stage there let's have a quick look I think so yeah we've got everything delivered for the for uh, the first stage Right, so that's all then. So that's on the way. We need to wait till that's finished and then it'll tell us what we need. Hopefully we can buy all the, buy in all the equipment. Um, it's you know, if we have to start building our own factories, that's going to take a long, long time. And it wouldn't really be... I mean, in a, in a normal real-life situation, you wouldn't wait until you've built your own factory to build something. You would buy it from from a wholesaler, from builders merchants or something along those lines. So I'm quite I'm quite happy in my mind that it is okay to buy the equipment in or to buy the raw material in. So let's get another set of that done. We'll do this we'll speed it up a little bit. But at least well kind of done this the wrong way around now. Well, it doesn't matter. We know we can get both of, both of those on, so we can just take those two out. Just hope it doesn't become too messy when I try and pick up the long planks. And then, of course, we have to see whether the wood beams actually work. I can't see any reason why they shouldn't work if the long planks work. Maybe the weight, but we obviously can get the tines in f far enough under the pallets long wise um, to balance them on the tines so that would be the difference between the long planks and the wood beams is if it was too heavy and it overbalances it but the only way we will know that is to try it out let's get this first lot delivered and There we go. Close the tailgate. <laughs> uh, so we're we now six thousand left now, and we won't be able to get. We'll, uh, we'll get the house started first thing next month. Then a couple more contracts. Drove the wrong way again. That time, I think it was more lack of concentration thinking we're going to go to the shop rather than the warehouse right here we go let's see let's see yeah yeah no problem at all so that's a problem solved except we forgot to put the tailgate down not gonna work without the tailgate down 
I suppose we would be able to get it in, but this is a bit longer. Than, yeah, these are a little bit longer than the long planks, so I think we'll have to travel back with the tailgate down. Yeah, they're sticking over the edge. But that was so much easier than the first, <laughs> the first lot. But that's to be expected. You've got to find your way through these these things. So let's get this back down to the to the yard. Get this delivered. We'll get the second one started. And then we will uh, most probably end this episode. It'll only be sort of late afternoon. I suppose we can do another contract. But yeah, we might do another contract off camera. But I will end the episode after this. After this delivery. And we'll get the second shed started and then we've got two of the constructions going in the in the second month pretty happy with that it's obvious with the series it's it's always going to be about getting enough money to do to do the work that we need to do on these initial constructions I think I I do want to build a silo as well so we will get um, that done so we'll have done the house, two, two barns and a silo, because I think there is a constructible silo, but we'll check that out. Yeah, that's, that's operating nicely, so that's working. Let's just check the other one quickly. It should be just around the back of us. Here we go. Yeah, that's on the way. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!